Do you know that? Do you know this is a massive secret, and like I can tell why they didn't hide me. But do you know that? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. What? Wait. This, Wait, you spilled the tea, what's going on? I can't believe yeah. I just remembered this. Um, I went to job interviews to work at Platinum Games just so I could infiltrate. Oh my goodness! What the heck? I know. What? Wait, if I go there, oh, that'll be a destination. Oh my goodness, oh my god. Oh. How did I do that? How did I do that? How did I do that? How did you not get witch time? I, I gotta I gotta ask, was that caption improv or did you have it in your head? Literally improv. Okay. I had the photo and was like, I don't know, Ooh, I don't know okay. what to do. Oh, you're hitting me with all these hard questions. It's great. Like I, I love the I love the drama. I hope it's being okay, <laughs> you of all these questions. You don't want to. So sad it came, my love. Destiny brought it to us. It how are we going today, everyone? My name is Rakan. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this podcast. He is the male Bayonetta is recognized by many Bayonetta fans, but most known for being the male cover artist for a multitude of Bayonetta songs, who also released a Hyperdance Housemoon River Climax remix, which will be linked down below. Please welcome the one and only Makaze. Hello. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thank you for Hello. inviting me. I'm super nervous, but it's nah, nice. It's all right, man. It's nice to oh, be good. Again, I'll always say it. Your voice is mesmerizing. I cannot believe I'm just talking to you right now. No, stop it. Too much, too much positivity. I'm just here to lose. Tag why I'm not going to I, I, I swear gone. you're going to be like some pure platinum player. No, like... no, it's been... I used to be on my Wii U, but it feels like it's been too long. I like. I don't know if I can think and play this game at the same well, time. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. But maybe I can. Maybe I can. You just need to like question me and then I'll be like... Oh. Alright, no problem. Is that, is that your favorite, um, what is it? Favorite weapon set, by the way? Just, just pure guns? Scarborough, yeah, I don't really use anything but guns. I see, I see, well, okay. What about you? Are you, are you using Scarborough Fair as well? Uh, I call it Love is Fair, so Scarborough Fair and Love is Blue. Oh, but, love uh, that. This, this is like my benchmark. I usually use um, Suraba as well, like the, the sword. Oh, right, yeah. But yeah. like... Yeah, I understand. I know a few other players that just use the guns because it's so benchmark. I just remember people, like, if you're not using, I don't really remember, but if, you, if you're not using the guns or Al, Al Runa, like, you were always yeah. losing and it used to really, like, annoy me. Oh, really? I see, I see. Maybe was so. that on the Wii U or on the Switch? Yeah, back in the day. What was it, like, 2014 yeah. when it came out? Shit, okay. Wow, 2014. The easiest I got one. Into <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Any any card is fine. I'm this good. is this is the oh. one that gets you three points. If you if you're doing really well and you've got one card to go, this is the one you, that you pick to I just see. win. Three star already. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I only do three star and then I die. You only do three star. Holy shit. You just you just literally I'm still one training. hit. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's sick. So we're gonna get some just just plays, the creative handle plays from you right over here. Crazy Pound is a much better player than I am. Yeah, have you versed him in Tag Climax, by the way? No, I don't, I don't think I have him on the Switch. I don't really use the Switch. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, fair, fair. Alright, so just to warm up with another first question, mm -hmm. I just want to know, how, got, how did you get into Bayonetta, or Bayonetta 1, whichever, whichever one you started with? So, I was, I was preparing for this question, so I have an answer. So <laughs> I was... I... I remember the T, I think the TGS 2008 trailer when it came out, and I remember <laughs> thinking like, oh my god, this game is gonna be so wow. good. And then I, see. I, I remember it was like Christmas of 2010 or something, and it was really weird because yeah. the day it came out, my parents were gonna go and buy it for me, and then I told them not to because I was like, oh. I felt I feel like I admit like I didn't want it, but then I rang them while they were there, and then they bought it. And then I think it was literally from day one in the UK that I had Bayonetta, and then so it's just day one. A, wow, a love story That's ever cool. since. <laughs> I see, I see. And you got. I'm pretty sure you got the first release of Bayonetta two. You didn't wait for it or anything. I bought a Wii U for Bayonetta two, and I bought a Switch for Bayonetta three. Uh, if it's like, <laughs> I literally, don't really care about Nintendo. It's only for Bayonetta. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't play any other Nintendo games. So I have, like, yeah, I have Animal Crossing because yeah. it came with the Wii U and then Bayonetta. Yeah. Too. But I'm so I'm kind of like burnt out with playing Bayonetta, like because I unlocked everything on. I completed it on the 360 and then I completed it on the PS4 and then Bayonetta 2. I just yeah. can't bring myself to oh, actually like to just complete. Yeah, like I feel like I, I just deserve to have everything that I already have. 
yeah. But you complete a bayonet at one, just to clarify. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Of oh, course. Cool. Wow. What about you? When did you get into <laughs> Oh my goodness. I was a completely late bloomer. Um, a lot of the, the watchers know this, but in late 2018, so December. Oh, really? It was four, yeah, 4th of December 2018. Um, I got my. I found. I saw Bayonetta first on the Smash trailer, or the trailer when she came to Smash. I saw that, fell in love with her, of course, and then I just kept her in the back of my head. Mm. And when I got my first paycheck from my first job, which is a cafe assistant, I went to Target and I just bought Bayonetta. I mean, very Bayonetta good one on the Switch. Absolutely. <laughs> very good choice. <laughs> I had the choice between a Nerf gun, it was, I was a teenager back then, so a Nerf gun or Bayonetta. I just went Bayonetta, I had to, but... There's no yeah. other way. I was okay with that. <laughs> no other no way. way. Definitely no other way. <laughs> but yeah, my best investment, so... <laughs> yeah, this game, Bayonetta is just so easy to get. Like, pick up and play, put it down when you want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Do you always go three star or just on that? That one? was one star because I don't want to die right now because we're on a roll. Yeah. But when when we get a bit okay. further into it, I'll get a bit more angsty and just go for three stars. Oh damn! Okay, okay. But Bayonetta and them are really hard to to deal with. Like when you fight Rodon on three stars, it's quite manageable. But like Rosa yeah, and Boulder yeah. are really awful to play against. They are, yeah. It's like the hitboxes are so small; they dodge all the time. Yeah, and then all of a sudden Bayonetta does that like mad on the like side punch. Yeah. And it's like four hundred <laughs> miles an hour. Like, what you are you doing? <laughs> I can't even do Catches that. You off guard. Catches you off guard. Oh my god, one more hit. Oh. I've never seen that move before. Oh, there you when go. you just did. Oh, there's your free 500 points. I'm trying to, I'm trying to formulate my words while I'm trying not to. Yeah, I literally can't speak. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Basically, when you're playing against Bayonet, Sir and John, it's literally just dodge, dodge, dodge. What's yeah, it called? Dodge like... offset, where you just have to dodge oh then. Then hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, there's like a slim window, a slim frame of when you can hit these two, two guys. Who's what, who do you like more? Like, who, who do you think is easy to fight Bayonet or John? I think John is more of a... John is quite, yeah, yeah. I think John. Bayonetta is like unpredictable to be honest. Yeah. I think you can predict John a bit. I feel like they kind of mugged John off though by giving her that stupid hammer, like the slowest. Ah, oh, yeah. Like I, think I feel that's like she had to go I'm trying not to swear as well. Like, I, I did no, a little no, you press. Can swear. It's okay. <laughs> no, I did like a practice game before I got on with you, and yeah. I kept saying like the F word. Was like, oh my god. <laughs> don't worry. In Australia, it's in our vocabulary, so don't feel bad if you do swear. <laughs> Wow. Alright, it's okay. That was oh bad. Oh bad. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't that far from you. I thought I lost I thought I lost like five hundred points, but it's okay. There's listen, I'm not that good at tag climax. All all <laughs> I want to do is just survive. That's like let's just true, get let's true. get let's get through. Yeah, me with every stream on tag climax. Well at least you're winning each round, so that's a good sign for you. <laughs> I haven't won all of them, have I? Sorry, what was that? I haven't won all of them, have I? I think you have. I think you have. No. I don't really think he wins anyway. <laughs> I just want to win. I just want to survive. Yeah. So, you were one of the first Bayo tubers that inspired me to be a, a YouTuber a YouTuber for Bayonetta. But I just want to know, how did you come across our channel at first? Rock, rock Room's channel? Yeah, yeah, the Rock Next channel. I don't even know. I feel, I feel like... When you follow Bayonetta things, it comes out lot, uh, lots of things come up in your like related, related stuff. Oh, and you recommended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, recommended. I see. Uh, and I'm pretty sure one of your great thumbnails probably just brought me in. I have no idea what my <laughs> first reference video was. And I then I remember, remember you, did you reach out to me as well? Uh, did I? I, I, I asked you. I asked, I asked one of your covers to oh, be yeah. in the Game Awards stream. That was quite further away, wasn't it? Because we had spoken way before then. Yeah, yeah, I was so nervous when I was asking for that cover to be on, on stream, by the way. No, don't. I feel, I feel like I'm like, I haven't got involved with like anything. Because like, when I did Mail Bayonetta, that was like my final year of uni, so I was like really stressed. 
and then I like oh, moved nice. to Japan, so I've just been yeah, a bit busy. Yeah. And I feel like I've really missed out on making friends in the fandom, so if anyone wants to like start talking to me, feel free. Please, yeah, I'll put <laughs> your socials right above right here on the <laughs> on the video right now. I see. But you've been in the Bayonetta community for so long, so much longer than me, definitely. You'd say I was oh dear. You'd say I was in the community but like who have I really spoken to? <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> I feel, I feel like all I've done is like covers, but I've been really looking to like change up my comp channel and do more. Yeah, yeah, yeah more than well, more than just Bayonetta or more than just covers? Well, more than Bayonetta considering they've literally left me bone dry for like three years, which has ruined my life. Yeah, yeah, I, remember, I see. That's wasn't exactly it, like, like... It was like 2018 when Bayonetta threw his account out. Like, I, I don't even remember. It was so long ago. Yeah. Like I was still at uni and I'm like, yeah, it must have been third year because I was still in my second house. Oh, okay. in the UK, I presume? Oh god, it was so long ago. Yeah, in the UK. Right, right. And I remember something, like when, like you, I watched the trailer when it came out. Yeah. And I didn't really know what had happened, but when Bayonetta like falls to pieces, I didn't even, my brain process what was happening before I did. And I just remember being so, I felt really awful and I like rewatched it. And I was like mm -hmm. shocked. I like nearly cried. I was like, "Oh my god, they just killed oh, Bayonetta!" Man. Yeah, like, and it split apart when you watch it the second time. It's mm. like, wait, she did split apart. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So that's the big question that where we, we want the answer to, like, who is that Bayonetta? Is it Bayonetta? And like, it's really mind-boggling, me and everyone. Yeah, I, I just, I'm happy there's another Bayonetta game, but I don't really know what it's going to be like because the second yeah, one felt so different. The first one was so yeah. much more, like, I felt more like adult. The second one's more like tongue and cheek. Yeah, yeah, they, they toned it down a bit. I think because I guess Nintendo saved it for the IP. Yeah. But I don't know if they're going to like keep that going in Bayonetta three. Not too sure. As long as they don't make it any more like child. Less. <laughs> True. Exactly. Exactly. That that yeah, that is Bayonetta's character. The erotic. Her sexy witch and all of her sexual innuendos have to be in there to make a bayonetta. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If they take it out, it just won't be bayonet. Ah, stars. Sorry. Sorry. Nice. And when was the last time you played on the Switch? Like besides today? Uh. Uh, maybe like two months ago when I actually bought oh. Bayonetta again, but then I just like, I just gave and up. I, I see. The skills just stay there, I guess. <laughs> you so, look what you've done! You've, no. not, you've literally jinxed it. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I was Sorry, like, damn. Um, oh no. That was, our last, um, was that our last round? Oh, oh my I've god. I've got depression. Whoops. <laughs> no, don't get depression. Oh my I'm god. Gonna cure you right, I'm gonna cure you How right now. How <laughs> stressful. Oh my god. That was. It was mind wreck. Uh, was it mind boggling? I thought you were going to get through that, but I guess not. <sighs> oh well, it's alright. It's okay. That was a warm up. It's a warm up oh, round. This, warm -up is, round. <laughs> this is bringing me back to Tag Climax back in the day. Just constant stress and sweat. <laughs> <laughs> like the actual stress. Yeah, yeah. Like, and right now we're doing it while talking, so that's the added pressure mm. of it as well. I don't remember so, what I question. Did you ask me about that? Oh no, I didn't. Um, but in saying so, you, you said that you want to, I guess, add on to more Bayonetta cover, more to what you've done, so your Bayonetta covers, yeah. your other covers. I just wanted to know, what's the big picture, what's your current passion right now? Is it voice acting, singing? Let me know. Well, this is like a really boring story, but like living in Japan is really problematic because <laughs> for like user status, like I'm not permitted to do certain things, so. Oh, really? Like, when you live abroad, you can't just do whatever you want. You can't, like, work in a cafe. You have to do what's on a visa. So, right. I'm, like, really torn between, like, living in a country where I, like, learn the language, you know, I've devoted so much of my life to be here, but then on the other hand, all my hobbies that kind of put on the back burner while I live here. <laughs> so, thank you. Um, so, it is quite hard for you to do things that you. Yeah, so I'm just kind of trying to do things like freelance and see what I like. At the moment, I want to, yeah. I'm trying to produce music. Yeah. Because, like, covers are fine, but 
I'm starting to really think that I want to make my own sort of music. I'm a big fan of like rhymes, and I really respect that she right. makes her own music and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, does, does, does your visa, or does a, uh, I guess, is it student visa, work visa right now? It's a work visa. So it's, yeah, so does that, uh, what's the word? Uh, stop you from making money off of YouTube in case, like, let's say you blow up. Like, does that do anything to your visa? Or May maybe I, I, I'm not planning on blowing up, so I haven't even considered whether that would be true. Like, whether oh, with the yeah. algorithm, who knows, man? Like, your banner covers could like just get up there. To no, be I really doubt it. But oh, they're like I'd love for that to happen. They're so old. They're like six years old. But they're, they're still, I still have them in my phone. Really? <laughs> Listening to them. Yeah, while driving. Why? <laughs> it's on, it's on, what was it? It's on, um, shuffle. I was like, oh, let's listen to Bayonetta. And then your, your, your song just pops up. No. So. <laughs> so I really, funny. I really like it. It's awesome. So. It's so nice. I'm gonna cry. Well, I mean, I'm honored that I'm talking to the one who's singing in my car, like providing me actual entertainment in the car. <laughs> that's such a nice thing to say. Well, that's all I wanted from YouTube. Like, I wanted to just do stuff that, because I love consuming content, and I also want to be a content creator, whatever mm -hmm. that content is. Right, right. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, no, it's okay. Is, is voice acting, like, something that you can't do as of now at the moment as well? I, I technically can if I don't get paid, and I, like, uh, like, if I was doing it in England, maybe, it, if I was doing, like, voice acting for a company in England, maybe it would be okay, yeah. like, yeah, it's all very complicated, but, yeah, I understand, that. and that, that must suck, like, if that must suck, like, you have to, you're restricted on what you can do, but I guess that's the sacrifice you have to put in. Yeah, exactly. Are you planning to live in Japan for a very long time, like permanently, or...? I think originally it was definitely much more fun to be here for a while, but then... Um, oh dear. After, oh like with coronavirus, um, it's yeah. really been quite isolating. And I'm, right, I'm hoping yeah. that like another pandemic won't happen in our lifetime, mm -hmm. so I'll probably never have to deal with not seeing my family for like two years. Um, yeah, yeah, damn. But it really puts you, things um, into perspective. Mm -hmm. With Japan, there's a, there's a border lock, right? You can't leave the country. I think now, now yeah. you can, but to, in terms of quarantining and all of the things that days. come with it, yeah, like, I just don't, it's just not possible. I see, I see. I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh, like, no. I hope you're going okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. Like, alright. You're living with, like, um, like by yourself, with roommates? Yeah, I live How in a tiny... T I used to live in a, in, a, in a big apartment in Kavishima, where I used to live. And then I moved to Sofia, and now I live in a tiny... Tiny, but very nice one room yeah. apartment with one hog, no oven. Do you have ovens in Australia? You're from Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have we have, yeah, we have ovens. Yeah, we, Japan doesn't have ovens. Um, oh, as a British, okay. um, as a, I feel like as many Europeans would agree, like, making food is very much about Different. ovens. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially in Western countries. Exactly. But yeah, like, I'm getting used to it. I can look for it, look for it for and being a vegetarian yeah. as well, so most of the things. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm talking I about. I went to... Japan for I guess I think it was just ten days, but it was in I went to Tokyo, Hiroshima, and Osaka. Mm. But like it was, I really enjoyed it there. the The hotels were really nice. People were very nice over there. Like, how is it living in Japan right now? Like, is everyone okay there? Everyone's or is it obeying the laws of quarantine and whatnot? Oh, I literally would not know about if people are quarantining or not, but. I think for the most part, like, we all wear our masks outside and stuff. Okay. And so, it feels safe, like, I'm, mm. I'd rather be in Japan than, like, not. Like, I'm not, I don't yeah. regret coming, uh, but, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm know. glad it's stable for you right now, I, I'm glad you're, you're safe and okay. Thanks. Um, is, is, tra is work travel okay with you, for you and that? Like, yeah, I'm really lucky, really, because, like, even though there's all of these quarantines and things on, Amazing, mm -hmm. like I can still go anywhere I want to, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh my god, we were both nearly died. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh no! One hit and one of us is up. I think one of us is gonna get hit judging by the sound of that Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna train me in tag climax right now. I think you're gonna be a good training partner. Are you doing? <laughs> I'm very bad at tag climax. Oh my god. I mean, I, I think we're doing quite well actually. Like, yeah. I think you're carrying. What great. I do, my, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite thing to do when I'm playing tag climax is just let the other person get absolutely bullied, and then I just get hits <laughs> from the side. Oh man, oh, then I'm your perfect partner. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, it's so stressful. Where is I? I hate oh. it when Bayonetta does that final dodge, and you're like, I don't have time for that one. Yeah, it's like a second where you can get hit. <laughs> Can't even see. Some people use John. Mm. Well, we can do this. I feel like the Bayonetta community is obsessed with John more than Bayonetta, but I don't know. That's 100%. just how I feel. Like I feel that as well. Everyone... Even like if she's had little screen time. I literally don't care. Like. Bayonetta is the one, Bayonetta is everything. <laughs> yeah, she's my, I got a, we got a body color for her, so I'm quite, quite obsessed, I guess if you can say that. You are obsessed. She's also like, for me, when I, because I, Bayonetta came what, how many years ago? Twelve, so, 12 what, years ago. 12 years ago, so 12 years ago, I was what, like, I don't, I don't know, like 13? I, was, I don't remember. I was nine, I was nine years old, yeah. And she, for me, she was like a huge, like, LGBT ally. And it was only after Smash did she become like a gay icon. She was literally like my yeah. sole gay icon back in the day. Like, no one else knew who she was. And then Smash yeah, yeah, made yeah. her like an actual before it was gay cool. icon. <laughs> and I think, I, should, I feel like I should have been paid for that. Like, she was, <laughs> she was, she was everything. You, you got into it before everyone else did, like. I wouldn't say that. I'm sure people. she had loads of fans, but. Mm -hmm. Like, I would never say, I'd never say that. Like, I don't I'm glad you're still loyal to Bayo. <laughs> yeah, she's a she's a cool gal. She's all right. Mm -hmm. She's the best. So, so on to the next one. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. go. Hopes for Bayonetta three. I just wanted to know. Oh, you've seen God. the trailer. You've seen the teaser. You know the progressing smoothly antic that Mr. Kamiya has done. I just want to know what are what is your biggest hope or hopes for Bayonetta three. Oh, I don't. I really do not want. I hope it's solely Bayonetta. I don't want to play as anyone else. Okay. I don't want some well, random section new... with some random ethnic new... person. And I, yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry, but can I get rid of any stupid plane games? I'm playing a fighting game, not a shooter. And I feel like right, it's, it's right. basically homophobic because I would never play that type of game. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got no skills, so I'll get pure platinum on everything, and then they throw in some you stupid want... fucking, like, like, plain shooter, and I'm, I'm like, I don't know how to play. I see, like, like you don't know no FPS. Yeah, no, I no hate Souls, FPS. like, just I, hack and slash. I hate FPS so much. Oh, really? Oh, I, I like it a bit, just no. a bit. I oh, like no. it a bit. <laughs> not, not your thing, not yeah. your cup of tea? And I really hope Bayonetta has, like, really long hair this time, and, like, a ponytail oh. or something. I don't know. Right, right. How about braids? Would braids work? Braids, yeah. Well, like a Lara Croft braid. Oh, is that, does, she have Lara, does she have braids? Like the it original like Lara the... Croft. Oh, I, I guess. I haven't seen that design yet. But like, talking about like um, Little Cereza's bra uh, braids, but growing up. Oh, like the ones that kind of look like a bread roll? <laughs> like I a baguette? So. <laughs> yeah. A baguette? <laughs> That's you. <laughs> they do. But they yeah, do look like a baguette. Yeah. If you want. Wait, you can do three stars, so. Oh my god. Let's go. There's only two of them in this, I think, for 8,000, so it's fine. I just take one each. I just... Oh no, that's alright. When... About the purple figure, do you have anything you want to add in? Do you have any theories about who the purple figure is? Let me know. I think I was just like everyone else at the very beginning, was like, oh, it's clearly Rodon trying to kill Bane Yeah, yeah. I think that's just what everyone thought at the time. At the time, right? 2017? I think there's been like loads of new, like, everyone thinks different stuff now, don't they? Yeah, yeah. What do I you think? Redon wouldn't be bad, so... What was it? What do you think? Oh, uh, one of our popular theories was uh, Eggman the Destroyer. What, it, seriously, or is that a joke? <laughs> yeah, ser ser seriously, <laughs> oh, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not memeing, but like, 
there's of course there's a chance that it's not going to be Eggman. I still have this, what is it? My expectation though that it will be Eggman. I'm pretty sure it's going to be someone completely new. But like, I had this one thought like, what if it's Eggman that is back from Inferno getting revenge from Bayonetta and such? So, yeah. that's, that's, my, that's my theory in a nutshell. God. If it, maybe it's like the owner of time or something who's like pissed off that Bane after that. Oh, true. I see. I don't know. I'm so, I'm just, I'm just so annoyed that I'm not, I'm not part of the cast of Bane after three hours of today. Oh my goodness, they, they should. Why, why, I saw I know. that comment somewhere. Do you know, <laughs> that, do you know, this is a massive secret and like, I can tell why they didn't hire me, but do you know that, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. What, wait, this, wait, spill the tea, what's going on? So. When I was at my previous job, I can't believe yeah. I just remembered this. Um, I literally went to uh, audi uh, not auditions. I went to job interviews to work at Platinum Games just so I could infiltrate. Oh my goodness! What the heck? I know. What? This is awesome. <laughs> they what? did, and they like were like, no. They, they they like didn't have me because I had no experience. But like I was so close. Like, well, no, I wasn't close. But I, w you I felt like I was getting were close. The close that is awesome, man. Like, I mean, not not to the fact that you you didn't get in, but like to, to be that close to Platinum Games. Oh was... my god! Yeah, no, it was really fun. Oh, I did it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in like, I got maybe no, I don't have. It. Did I get rid of it? I think I got rid of it because I felt like a bit of a loser for keeping it around. But they they give oh. you all the bottles of water with the Platinum Games logo on. Oh my goodness! So like, so I, ha cool. I had it for a while, and then it was too depressing, so I got rid of it. But yeah. That That's was gonna fine, be I my plan. What I was trying to join the sound department, <laughs> and, right, and, right. and then in the, in the interview, I was like, "Oh, like, do sometimes like anyone at work do the the act like the voice acting?" And I'm like, mm, "Not really." And I was like, oh, "I'll change that." <laughs> I was like, "They'll find out." <laughs> I was like, "When I get yeah. in, when I get in the job, with it, I'll uh, I'll tell them who I am." But they probably already knew, and that's why I didn't get it. Oh, they probably background check. No, they probably didn't, but... Okay. Like, I just like to tell myself, they thought I was huge. But yeah, I was, yeah, just, you know, I was <laughs> livid just that, that I did not get included in the Bayonetta, like, celebration thing. I was, oh. I was really sad about that. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah but, but honestly, to be that close to Platinum Games, and literally in the workforce, that close. Yeah. <laughs> like we say, we say it as a meme. Like we're gonna invade Platinum Games. Like our community says it as a meme. But you literally did it. <laughs> I drove. One on one. All, I took a day off work and drove all right. the way from Kagoshima to Fukuoka for like oh, two hours. I think it took like three hours just for an interview. And it was, it was fun. Then I like got a Starbucks and drove home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hashtag free my boy Makaze, man. Like seriously. Get me a fucking job. What are you doing? Yeah. At Platinum Games. Like oh, it's actually so cool. Yeah. I feel like this is the type <laughs> of story they should listen to and be like, wow, no, that's such dedication. He should. He should join. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe one day in Bayonetta Four, we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Oh, I don't know if there'll be Bayonetta Four. I feel like. I mean. I feel like the real yeah, yeah, story, yeah. which is sad. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's going to be quite hard for them. Like, compared to other games, Bayonetta is quite niche. Mm. Like, I thought Nier Automata was, was awesome. Awesome. You know Nier Automata, right? Yeah. Love yeah I thought that was... Yeah, it's a beautiful game. I thought that was very uh, mainstream, and then my friend told me it's actually quite niche compared to other games. Really? Like, wow. So Bayonetta... Yeah, like I heard. It's very niche, and compared to Bayonetta, then Bayonetta must be very, very niche. So, yeah, that was a mind blowing game that I found out. This is, I can't wait to watch this back and see my face. Like, try and concentrate on playing. No, no, it's alright. I'm gonna look so yeah, you'll, get to, you'll get used to it. The awkwardness, uh, This has been really taller, good for me though, because I wanted to like... When I'm on my own, I feel like I go into this weird mode where I like, don't talk like myself. Like, it all becomes some weird act. And this is where I feel like right. I'm just being myself. So, you, right. you're a very, you good, very good host. Wait, me, you say? Yeah, you're a good host. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to hear that from you. Like, oh, and that's the question I wanted. Uh, you, did you uh, audition for any, like, even when you were in the UK, did you audition for any voice acting roles or anything like that? Just for anything? Yeah, like, because I know you had a demo reel. I remember, like, clicking a link once, and I saw your demo. Um... 
be honest, like, because I didn't go to drama school, I feel like it's harder to get into it. I feel, I, what I really need to do is get a professional demo to be honest. Um, but yeah, mostly it's been just things that I've really auditioned for. I'm, I got a role in the, um, uh, what's it called? Sky, Skywind? I'm a character yeah. in the upcoming, like, Skywind big mod thing that's been in development oh. for loads of years, so that'll be really fun. So, oh, is it, is, it, is it coming out soon, or is it already out? I don't think it's out yet, but you should definitely try and find me. I won't tell you who oh, I am, sure, you have yeah. to go and talk to every NPC to find me. Oh wow, okay. Then we're gonna be on stream. Oh yeah, we could do find... we could do a thing and like, we, every person who's wrong you take a shot or something. Oh my... <laughs> I have to do it like 10 push-ups for a wrong one. Yeah, oh, see, God, I, you'd, I think you'd be quite fit by then. <laughs> I can barely do like, what, 20? Maybe you might feel it in my arms after like an hour. So, but we'll get it on the first try, trust me. <laughs> you should tell me more about you since we're on stream. Like, or maybe, does everyone already know you? So then it'd be... Um, yeah, any questions that you had for me? Like, I'll happily answer them. Can I ask <laughs> where you're from in Australia? Yeah, I'm from Sydney, Australia. Sydney. So that's like, south. south. I'm trying, trying to find, to find out. out. South. East. I'm, I'm southeast south of Australia. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. My geography's not. Like I don't know. That. It's like yeah, it's, it's funny. Like, like I feel like I'm really close to you, but Australia and Japan are so far apart. Yeah, I think you're the. But to be honest, I think you're the closest one compared to everyone else in our mm. community. <laughs> you should definitely. Which is you should definitely <laughs> come back to Japan when it's all open. We'll do some like fun like Tokyo Street. I can be your personal interpreter. Unless oh, we speak Japanese. Please. Oh man, like I if don't you know. Buy, if you buy me a coffee, I'll, I'll do some. I'll, oh my goodness, I'll, I'll buy all your coffees. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> are you over 20? I... How old are you? I don't even know. Oh, I am 20. Alright, oh, so you can drink. Turning 21. <laughs> is the drinking age in Japan 20? Is it 18 or 20? Is it 20? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I just, I just reached that, well, luckily, so. What, what's it in Australia? Uh, to, uh, 18. It's same, same as it's, it's very low. Right, right. In America, is the highest one, which is 21. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a waste America? of years. Right, right. I understand that, yeah. Did, oh, I can't That's believe cool. that there's people who are young, but yeah, are younger yeah. than me. Like, I feel like I'm crossing really? that boundary. Like, because I'm like 25 now. You're 25? Yeah. I thought you were my age, goodness. <laughs> Yeah, no, like, I, I feel a oh, bit man, like... tell me a secret, man. Tell me a secret. How do you Secret into what? How do you have that flawless skin? Like, how do you have... I actually... <laughs> that is so nice of you to say, but I actually <laughs> use lots of skincare from your own country, actually. Oh, really? From I'm Australia? I'm a big Aesop fan. I don't know that brand, but it's, it's Australian, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, A-E-S-O-P. -E oh, I, I see, I see. Well, that's, that's cool to hear. That's a good fun fact. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone ever wants any skincare tips for men, hit me up. Yes, and and, hit, and tell me about your skincare as well, like, I'll try and follow your it. Your skin's are also really nice, so I don't know what you're talking about. Like. Really? Uh, like, see me in real life, like, no filter. It's just completely, oh, yeah, I guess, destroyed. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, um, is, is there anything else that you... Do you have a like gym routine? I know this is very personal, but like a gym routine. Do you have a skincare routine? Anything else that you do for your lifestyle? I just Japan? jog, really. I used to swim, but then coronavirus kind right. of made me feel a bit oh, like, yeah. on edge about it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I see. No, that's fine, man. Oh, good. Yeah, just jogging. I feel I mean, like wait. I just want to eat food, but then I get I feel guilty, and then it's all. <laughs> so just do. It. I used to do loads of jogs, but now I just do one of these. I don't care. Yeah. I see, I see. Who, who wait, has loads the time? Of, oh, sorry, sorry. Who has the time? Wait, 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 wait did I hear right? Loads of. Sure, I used to do loads of jogging. Oh, oh jogging? Oh man. man, I thought you said drugs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, wait, no, no, I got to No, that's say for that the next podcast. <laughs> you don't exactly, know me like that. The, the NSFW podcast. Is this not already NSFW? It's, it's not already NSFW. <laughs> So if, if, we, if you were to, sorry, if I were to go to Japan mm -hmm. the next time, where's the first place you'd take? I'd make sure you go to Kyushu because it's so underrated. 
that. Which is the southern island of Japan. Oh, right. Where I basically spent near, nearly all my life living in Japan, so in mm -hmm. And I just remember. It's basically more countryside, and but they're all big cities, and it's like just wonderful. My favorite place in Japan. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. That's, that's awesome. Like, I've never heard of it. Like, if I go there, oh, that'll dear. be a destination. Oh my goodness, oh my god. How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do that? How did you not get witch time? I don't know. That's funny. I got the gist of this game. Oh. Right, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. oh, damn it. Oh, it's redone. It doesn't matter. You know, that, this was expected. Right, we have, to, we have to actually finish one session. One round, at least. Just one round. <laughs> How long are these podcasts supposed to be? Am I, like, really going over time? I don't know, you're fine. Um, just let it happen, I guess. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm okay with however how time it is, like one or two hours, that's fine. Okay. But we can always tag Climax, I just think that the podcast is a cool opportunity. Do you have any more questions? I feel like oh, there's yes, more, I just don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I wanted to ask, how was it working with Creative Handle, one of your most famous videos, or what you're known for? Um, how, how did it go? Like, you know, explain it to me. Um, like, I think I selfishly always wanted to be male Bayonetta, like, my whole life. I mean, who doesn't? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I want to be the first one. I want to be the canon. And I remember, right. I remember Crazy Panda, Crazy Panda, like, I feel, I feel like, I don't remember if it's true, but I feel like he came up, he, they came out of nowhere. And then they just yeah. got really popular. I was like, wow, they're like the coolest modder in the community. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it was really sudden. Like, it was just sort of like, it's a huge, like, Oh shoot, of just really great videos and I was like, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, so it's I, not the same thing. Yeah, I know, right? So I messaged, I didn't even message, I literally wrote on an interview YouTube, one of his videos from back in the day, but yeah. it will still be there. It's literally like, can, I think it was literally like, can you make male Bayonetta and I'll be male Bayonetta? And then they were like, <laughs> yeah, sure. And then wow, we were in, we were in a see. Discord chat for ages. And like sometimes they would send me things, and I, mm -hmm. and we would like discuss them. And originally yeah, yeah. we were like talking about how do you, how do you want the design? And, and I really believed that. I was like, if we're making about male Bay Bayonetta, he needs to still have the heels, and he still needs to like mm -hmm. be feminine. Like yeah, he's yeah. not he's not gonna be macho. He's still gonna be a feminine guy. And then, like, like just, you'll still have that bayonetta -esque yeah like a feminine that's not a male macho <laughs> yeah 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 and then i was like i really think he should have long hair i really believe that he should have like john like hair i thought it would look really cool okay like but, Sephiroth Sephiroth like that, like that. yeah with like a kind of a messy front but um I think due to modding limitations at the time, it wasn't possible because the creative oh. handles modding has gotten better and better. But I think at the time, it wasn't. He couldn't. Yeah. Do that at the moment. I I see. See. So. That's a cool story. Like I didn't know it was just from a, a YouTube, YouTube comment, and creative handle was like, like okay. okay. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> literally so like this box. So random. That's awesome. That's awesome. Man. But it was. It's a big. Thing. It's a big sign to say that if you don't ask, you don't get or whatever it is. Yeah. And you then, mean you asked and you got the opportunity. Yeah, exactly. And we then, we featured you on our was on our iceberg to be the male bear. Yeah, I know. I, I think feel, that was, I was really so cool. happy when you messaged me about that. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Platinum Games need to get a grip and like acknowledge that I exist, like the concept yeah. of male bear. <laughs> Do you yes. know that I messaged Helena yes, yes. Taylor about that as well, and she was like, oh, no. we, she I've had loads of chats with Helena 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 really? Taylor. Before the video, like I used to talk right. to her on DM about like more sex and stuff. Oh, man. And then so I feel cool. like I feel like it clearly did go around the Platinum Game Studio this video because when I sent it to her, it was like, oh my god, like I finally got to see my dream within such a big inspiration, blah blah blah. She like didn't get back to me, and I was like, we've had a conversation with her now, so I feel like she was told not to. I don't know. Oh, I see. Like it's part of her new contract, or yeah, like they're not allowed to support. Like mods to the game or something. I feel like they're very picky about mods. Yeah, yeah, and they 
I don't, I, maybe, it's maybe it's an intellectual, intellectual property, property thing or a policy thing that they have to follow, mm. right, the upper management has to follow, but unfortunate. But you, you had a, what was that, a conversation with Helena Taylor? Yeah, when That's she joined amazing. Twister, I was just like, hello, oh, big fan. I hate you so much right now, I really, really hate you so much right just, now. <laughs> just message her on Twitter, she'll reply to you. I'm so scared! <laughs> but this is the, the, the difference, clearly, you need to stop being scared and just do it. Yes, I, that's right, that's right. Like, I, I need to stop being like submissive and whatnot. Oh, I hate that. Oh, God, I hate that. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, w one of my was it, plans, I guess, like, dreams, who knows what will happen. I'd love to interview Helena Terry. And, like, <laughs> I'd have to be, I am, I'll keep it as composed as possible. And then right after the interview, when I'm alone in the room, just fan <laughs> guy as much as possible. <laughs> oh shit! What on earth just happened? Oh my! I li the, the problem with Bayonetta <laughs> two is sometimes I just don't know what's going on on the screen. Like I literally yep, have yeah. no idea what was. I thought I died, so I was waiting for you. <laughs> and then oh like, really? Yeah, like I was just I just wasn't even moving. I see. I see. That's what I would like in like Bayonetta three. Like. They need some wider camera angles or something. Mm -hmm. And they have to get rid of the off-screen attacks. Yeah. I don't know, that's for me. It, it trained me a little bit, but I still get annoyed by it. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's not... <laughs> what do I you meant mean? to go for Boulder. Oh, I can't do this. I'm not going to win. I can't. Oh, okay. This will go. Well, <laughs> speaking of other types of content, are you still up for our Nail Bayonetta cover duet? Yes. Absolutely. Are you sure? I yeah. really am sorry for like. I can't. I literally wait. can't even sing though. Yes, you can. No. <laughs> it, oh, uh, man. If you send me the, if you send me it first, so I can then sing over you, sure. Can, can, can I, I sing over you, sir? I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll, to make it easier, I'll, you, I'll sing. You get first. everything you need, oh. and then. Right. Oh, um, I literally can't sing. Yeah. No. Oh, dear me. Oh, oh, I saved you. Oh, oh no. I never mind. <laughs> Man, that's for the pure platinum players. players. Of yeah. the world world, world rankers. rankers. No, no. With the song covers that you've put on, I noticed that you, di you didn't use the instrumentals. Was there a reason for just singing as a duet with the original singer, or you just couldn't find any instrumentals? I don't even... I definitely have very instrumentals. I don't know, I feel like I just... It's such a high-pitched song, my voice doesn't... It is. I feel right. like... I don't know, I feel like my voice really com like can complement the original, but right. maybe wouldn't sound amazing on its own. I don't know. Ah, oh, right. Because oh, I've been recently enough, experimenting with doing more like, like lower-pitched covers. Because, mm -hmm. like, it's really... it helps my range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering, like, how come there was no... Because I've been trying to find, like, instrumental covers, just just the in purely instrumental, so that way I can practice on that song. Like, I could, could not find one. They're really difficult songs to sing, though. Like, it's... They are. <laughs> Moon River is ridiculously difficult. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. For anyone who isn't, like, a female soprano, anyway, like, mm. just not normal type of level of singing. Yeah, unless you want to just karaoke it. But if you want to make an actual content out of it, it might be quite hard to make it sound I think nice. But even so, yeah, was it? My original... The first person who influenced me was Elsie LeBlanc doing her Bayonetta cover. And I think it still says it in one of the videos, like, Elsie, Le, uh, Elsie LeBlanc did this, so I want to do it. I'm not too sure. But, like, she yeah, just you covers everything. <laughs> but I was right. like, oh, I want to concentrate on Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, like, if you type in, like, male band, I sell like, everything. Just my child. It's, it's you. It's crazy. It's you, yeah. And, I mean, you've you've already... What was it? You've already instilled that into everyone's mind. So when I think of male bayonetta, automatically Mark has it. So, you've got the reputation there. Now it's Do all I? a matter of fact of... Do <laughs> I really, though? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Like, I'm trying to- I'm still trying to push it out there. Like, we got Mark has it. <laughs> To be fair, Loki, so, like, when you started this podcast, you were like... You were like... Male Benetta to some, like, who, who is against me? Do you, do you have names? Oh, wait, no, no, Spill no, no. the tea. Wait, oh, did I say some? I, you said, I don't think it was that, it was more, I just, it sounded like... But known for... You're not, it's not the oh. fully 
to turn I said into male bayonets. He, he is the male bayonet recognized by many bayonets. Oh, by many, yeah. So who yeah, are the people who are? Sorry, sorry, you want all bayonet fans to know him, alright? <laughs> I love, I love reading. Let me, the let me change that. In I literally production. love reading the comments. Sometimes, like the comments on that video, like there are so many nice ones, and like I literally mm. love. I would die reading the comments. Yeah, and then were like any, the negative any... ones, like make me laugh so much because they're like, why didn't you do this or why didn't you do this? I'm like because if I didn't follow the script, if I didn't follow the facial animations, <laughs> it would have been really weird. Like I didn't have yeah. the complete creative freedom that Helena Taylor did when she did the line. Like, I had to copy Helena to make sure it just looked right, and it still wasn't completely perfect in some of them. Sorry, well, I, think, I think I got cut out for a bit. What were you saying? It wasn't, like, even following the lines, it wasn't completely perfect all the time. Mm -hmm. It is difficult. You have to follow the lip movement, all that stuff. It's, yeah, but it was, it was Wait, don't worry a about blast the, of fun. the negatives. Oh don't no! Worry about the negatives. <laughs> I literally, I don't care. That's good. And then I remember, I I can't believe everyone was so disappointed with the summon. Like I thought it was so good, and then people, right. people were like, "That's how the summon sounds." And I was like, "I was like, wait, how did you want it to sound?" And then it's it's a mud like and yeah, <laughs> not the male like, bayonetta. Like calm down. I was like, like I know like. It's like, I feel like I'm the original Tomb Raider. If someone decided to become the new male Bayonetta and they became like the number one, they're never going to be the Shelly Blonde of the Tomb Raider series. Like, I am Shelly Blonde. Yeah, yeah. Even if I ever... Ooh, damn. Do you know what I'm going to challenge yeah. that. Yeah, I, I think I know what you mean. Like, if someone else like claims it officially, you mean? Yeah, if they got a male Bayonetta in the next game, you're not... We're going to... We're, we're going to... I'm going to use the Twitterverse to try and get you back up there, man. Like, seriously. <laughs> like... I don't think they they can put someone up there on like I, I'm pretty sure they they must contact you first like because I, I've I've studied like a lot of what was it um the, the, the reputation of creative handle your chefs donguri you're you're up there you're up there with the veterans and I'm pretty sure they could they, could, they should, should um, um, contact you first let's say you do decide to put a male, male version of Bayonetta somewhere you can, can so. in, in <laughs> I feel I, but last time I feel like I feel like the people that I worked with wouldn't wouldn't do it without me mm -hmm. but I, I wouldn't put it I would like it's a free world like if someone wanted to make a male Bayonetta thing I'm sure they could yeah yeah but yeah, I'm just happy that I got to be the first, and it's li like the history is already made. So okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you did it first, so it's like no, no one else can take that away from me. I will literally be that nine-year-old who's like, "Well, I was no better than the first. So I don't give a fuck." <laughs> I did it first, like literally first. So. And there's always going to be one person, hopefully, in the future who'll be like, "Well, I prefer the original," and I'll yeah, literally just like message them every day, like, "Thank you so much." <laughs> not what this iceberg says. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You've really grown in the fandom as well, haven't you? You're way past a thousand subscribers now, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I guess so. Uh, yeah, but thank you for that. Like, it has it's been growing, growing quite slowly, but I think I, I want to cherish that. I feel like you've got really loyal fans. Like, when I came onto Discord, like, you have all oh. of these people, like, saying, like, about your videos and stuff, and like when you post and they like like it and stuff, I think it's uh, Yeah, I, lo I love them to bits, like I, ho I hope they're not bored of the content, and I'm glad they still support it. I want to like try and meet as much, many more people from around the world in Bayonetta, because Bayonetta is quite niche, I'm pretty sure you can agree with that, so... Yeah, no one knows I, it, I think, like, yeah. No, yeah, it's, yeah, it's so sad, <laughs> so sad. It's a waste. But I want to I wanna try and meet, I want to try and fit, meet as much people in that niche as possible, so... Regardless if they're haters or, or, or lovers, you know. Have you met any haters? Uh, I have said I have met a lot of naysayers. I don't I say, say anything to them. I, I just I just read their comments. Naysayers about to... you or the series? Uh, both. I would say. <laughs> like, uh, why would I've anyone critique few... you? I've, I've, I've seen a few that, that say um, some of my theories are, are too out there. I get that. I hundred percent get that. Um, I just take it as feedback, try to take it as feedback and critique, uh, how do I improve it for the next next video, like, after I, I try, try like, all my, my tears out, but yeah. 
and <laughs> but like it's only not true. <laughs> in, in terms of like the, the hate and things that I do get, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other creators do receive it as well. I gotta look at the positive, the, the, the nice side. So there are people that still support it no matter what, and I got them to look out for because a lot of the people in the Discord they're like in high school or like mm -hmm. teenage. Yes, and I want to be that bigger brother for them. Yeah, um, that's nice. So, <laughs> it's very cute. They're so adorable. I, I love them all. Like, um, what else is there? With streams, they're very supportive. Have you ever thought of like streaming again? Streaming again, by the way, my cousin. I just don't. I just don't know how to do it. Like, I feel. I just. I just tell myself I'm not that interesting. I don't know. What I, I, Wait, what? I, I don't know what to talk about. I feel like I've given you all the secrets that I would use on my own stream channel. Now. Like oh, clickbait, oh, with my chat, my yeah, infiltration yeah. to Platinum Games. Oh, oh, I see. I could still do a story about it. I'm gonna clip that from the from the thing, and I'm gonna be like, we got an actual insider in Platinum Games. <laughs> what the first is. interview? <laughs> yeah, on the first interview as well. Yeah. Did yeah. you get to meet anyone like? We know Atsushi and Naba, um, or was it just interviewers and like there was managers? there was loads of people there, but because I was auditioning for the Sam team, it was like the mm -hmm. Sam people. So I think they were pretty like high up people, but yeah, I would be a liar if I said I knew the names of people who mm -hmm. did this. I'm pretty sure you you, you, sh you wouldn't be able to name the people because of yeah. NDAs, right? <laughs> well, that as well, but I also don't know. Yeah. The names. yeah. <laughs> Oh okay. Well, let's just say nah. I got a. Yeah, they were all really NDA. famous. They were. It was. It was just the CEO and me actually. Yeah, and yeah. like, and you, you can't say anything because you know yeah, I signed an NDA. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Just say that. Just say that. <laughs> but yeah, it's still a good achievement, nevertheless. Who knows? Maybe in the future they might contact you. It's still a fun opportunity. We gotta I, get you up there. I just like doing like random things. So like, why not? <laughs> and ever since Through coronavirus, I don't understand why people are still like unchanged and negative life, why would you want to waste the rest of your life being negative when like so many people have died? Like I just want to live yeah. a good life and be happy. Mm. And you're just doing what you want to do. You're just trying out new experiences. Yeah, exactly. Lucky enough to do so. People who hate on YouTube Sorry. are so weird, like I don't think I've oh, I don't think I've ever left left a hate comment in, in my life, even if I didn't Never. like the content okay. like get alive. Yeah, and like if you don't like the content, and that's okay if you don't, I guess the best thing to do is just not watch it. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> or not click on literally it. Literally, like, what's wrong with people? Yeah, but, um, I heard that like some of the naysayers that the haters that are on my channel, do they still click on it? I'm like, yeah, sure, if you want. Uh, I'd love to listen to your feedback and your or your hate, but it's still giving engagement. I, I just realized that a dislike is actually. Uh, a dislike is still good compared to not viewing the video. Mm. So if people dislike, it still gives the video, um, the people, oh, we did a round, that's cool. It still gives the video a good, good thing. So, but you don't have any haters, do you? Well, not any. Well, more, I don't or? think so. <laughs> not on yeah. my, not on my channel. I did, there is that one girl on YouTube who saw my video yeah. and sings over it really badly and I don't know if she was just trying to copy me because she copies the intro. Have you not seen it? Right. Oh no. There's a video on YouTube it. of this girl and she's, to me, man. And like, she's, li she's literally downloaded my video because it says like Game yeah. of Josh when I used to be called Game of Josh at the beginning mm -hmm. and she like copies mm -hmm. the intro that I do and then she sings and uh... then in the comments I'm like this is Mikazo's video. And <laughs> right. Okay. Like, but that, that's, so... if that's the level of hate that I get. Like, I don't even think yeah. it was hate. I think it was just like a joke. Yeah, like just memeing around and yeah, like, who cares? That's alright. There's nothing to hate for you. I mean, the, the extent of how they were well, criticized—I don't even know if it's criticized criticism. Like the the creative handle video that you had, like e even like were they giving feedback or was it just pure? You can tell it was just hate. It felt like. It was just someone who wanted to be male Bayonessa who wasn't Bayon male Bayonessa. Right, but okay, and so I think you still, I think you did a great job. <laughs> no, do you know still what I mean? in my ear. <laughs> uh, no, but I just mean like you. I did it first, so who gets? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It was that's all good, but like it was done. It was just done with creative handle for fun, like as like just a fun project. 
it didn't have to be massively serious. It just ended up being really successful. I do, I do have to say though, if, if anyone like tells you off, like just say, well, me Creative Handle recognized me and put me in his video for bay, for the male bay and that I. And then he put me in that other one. But exactly. The one, like you're that recognized by Creative one. Handle. I was like, what? <laughs> Was I want so to be hilarious. recognized by Creative Handle. <laughs> no, he's an elusive figure. We haven't mm -hmm. spoken in a, in a long time. But he, he's he's a good 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 guy, right? They're a good person, like they're chill. Yeah, I'd say so. Have you met Yoshesk? Say who, sorry? Uh, Yoshesk, have you met Yoshesk or DM'd Yoshesk or anything? Do you know who Yoshesk is? Um, <laughs> No, no, sorry. The, the, the person who did um, the Dodge Offset video. Oh, him! Sure. What, back in the day? Her, yeah, her. Her. I think it's her. Yeah. Sorry, I... They, yeah. I feel like this is one of those things where you know the video really well, but you never really thought it. I feel like that's probably what people think of me, like, they don't know who I am. Oh, right, right, I see. No, um, okay, it's okay. Oh my god, yeah, no, happens. but I want to know who she is, and I would love to know oh, more about her. Oh my god, she's like... Um, my number one inspiration for Bayonetta because I remember seeing her videos first in terms of content mm. for Bayonetta and like she's inspired me to be a better Bayonetta player but of course I just like having fun I love her combos and all her um, I guess what was it not tight climax she, I don't think she does tight climax videos but she did a lot of Bayonetta ones and I just enjoyed seeing her really crazy combos and like fighting in the air and whatnot but I really would love to collab with her one day. Wishful thinking, you know. Um, hopefully she do you, uh, recognizes us. Do you have a like a a connection already, or no? Unfortunately, I guess not. Just not message yet. her and be like, "Hello, let's be friends." I'll be like, Hi, <laughs> um, you're my inspiration. <laughs> Honestly, it but sounds yeah. like everything. It sounds like you're letting your fear block everything that you want to do. What was that? Sorry. It sounds like you're blocking what you want to do with fear. Yeah, I guess so. I think I still have to. I, I do have low kind of confidence. Like you, was it? I DM'd Creative Handle though. Oh really? We're having a collab. Yeah, we're having. Actually, okay, there we go. I'm proving you wrong with this one. Okay, so with Creative Handle, I, I, I DM'd, I DM'd him about, about an, an upcoming video. Mm -hmm. He's creating a mod that I asked him. I'm not too. I'm pretty sure he had the idea first, but I think I sparked it. Like into a flame, right. into something that he'll he'll really, really uh, work on. What? And oh my god, is it male John? No, I, I mean, <laughs> like, if I can sign up for that, hell yeah, I'll do male John. <laughs> like, no, I don't, it's not male John. Um, can I cut it out of the video? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's okay with me saying it, but I, I'll just cut it out of the video. What do they look like? I'm so intrigued. I'm intrigued as well. Um, with, I've seen your, one of Yashesk's photos, she's very beautiful. Um, I've seen, I think I've seen Ursa in one of his streams. Um, Setnaro is another Bayonetta veteran. Phileas. I, I haven't seen Creative Handle. Creative Handle is really cool though. I have to give, I have to give them that. <laughs> well, you've put your mark in the community, in the Bayonetta community, in terms of being the male Bayonetta, the, the cover artist. And I'll, to be honest, I know that you're, you're well versed in Bayonetta. Um, you see this tag climax, climax, you're, 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 you're sweeping, sweeping me with just, just <laughs> playing normally. You won in the end. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, I know, I won in the end, but remember at first, you were just like, oh shit, he's playing 3-star. I think because I won because I played 2-star a lot. I think by the end, I finally stopped playing and was just more intrigued by the conversation. Oh, that's, that's is... actually sweet of you, man. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> I realized one was more important than the other. Oh. It, yeah, yeah, your, your, your voice, voice is just mesmerizing again. I, I can talk to you for hours, TBH. You're literally and lying. It's so not true. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. I'm, I really am not lying. <laughs> so, I just I wanted, wanted to say, say what's, what's your big picture? picture? Are you riding the wave of life? Or is there something that you really are striving forward to? I kind of know the, I'm, maybe I might know the answer, but I want to hear it straight from you. I think I have to vet a massive life decision coming up, which is do I spend my youth, the rest of my youth, in Japan, or do I go mm. home after this pandemic, like jump into a master's and like finish my novel that I wrote and like get into mm. voice acting. Like I am a creative at heart. I love to produce music, I write, I love poetry, right. I love everything to do with the arts. 
So it's a very big question of like, do I, should I be true to myself and get more involved in YouTube? I actually had massive like self-esteem problems and like I gained mm. weight and got really depressed. <laughs> but I've lost it all now and I feel better. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm getting back into that's YouTube. Good. But yeah, yeah, my, yeah. I wanna, I would love my channel to get to like a thousand subscribers like you and have people who wanna talk to me and stuff. Like I think that would be really nice. Um, we'll, we'll get you there. You're almost there anyway. And I'm pretty sure if you get into the momentum of just posting and creating content, you'll get there. I, I have a feeling, because you have a good YouTube sense, you have a good camera sense, for, in, in my opinion. Like, you're, you're charismatic, you have all this, was a talent that you have to, you're giving away <laughs> that for, for entertainment. And you're really showing it in just how you speak. Really? I think, yeah, yeah, just, just, just getting into that momentum of, create, of content creation. You've, You've got, got the, the accent, accent down as well. I think that's a plus for a male painter that I got the your native British accent. It's not someone who's faking it or uh, putting on a persona. Mm -hmm. I think you, you've owned that, like literally when you were born and, and learned oh how God, to speak. Stop. So, <laughs> see that that sounded like a male painter. What the hell? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Oh, that's that's so, so good. good. So I just wanted to send you some photos. We're gonna get into some hot ones type of content. We're gonna explain that gram. I got three photos right here. I want you to just give a little bit of background, a little context for it. And here we go onto the first photo. Oh, okay. Oh God. What is this? <laughs> I just wanted, yeah, well, what's this hell about? Um, it's a picture of me in a mm -hmm. river that has dried up. As you can see, Bayonessa actually called me and asked if she could have her, her legs, legs back. back. And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> that was the first full body photo that you had, right? Of, like, of, of me? Yeah. yeah. Really? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Why? Are you, are you a big fan? Uh, yeah, of your fashion sense, yeah. And your skincare, definitely. Oh, you can literally barely see my face. What are you talking about? I mean, your fashion sense is great. Like, like you, you know, being in a cold unit, also her legs back. I said no. <laughs> That's a good quote. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta ask. Was that caption improved, or did you have it in your head? Literally improv. I had the photo. Improv. Well. I don't know. I don't know what, Ooh, don't know what okay. to do. And okay. then. Okay, I, I gotta give you that. That was a good caption. I'm like six foot one, 191 you, centimeters. Give, give me your height, please. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So. Well, I want to be six foot. But and I, and I have brown hair and I have blue eyes. So if anyone need, if and if male Bayonetta was ever a person, like I don't really think you could get much closer. <laughs> <laughs> He's right over here, folks. Like, I'm talking to him right now, Mel Bayonetta. Even got the blessing from Creative Handle, and yeah. hopefully the blessing from Platinum Games. So let's move on to the next photo, a really happy photogenic kind of photo as well, of oh you God. holding oh, no. in front no. of... <laughs> oh my God. I just want to know, yeah, what's th this, this photo, like, such a mature photo. What is this? What's the context behind it? Um... I think I literally just, th this was my other job, so when I lived in Kagoshima, something crazy. What's it say? Transitioned. Oh, I think I really wanted to get more into people seeing my face, because at the beginning I wanted to just have my voice. Yeah, and yeah. And then I feel like you just, mm -hmm. it just doesn't really work in this day and age, so I thought yeah, it was yeah. better to, like... Yeah, I mean, you put yourself out there. Yeah. And what is that mountain behind you, by the way? Is that a mountain in Kagoshima? So that's a volcano, an active volcano oh, called okay. Sekodajima. Right. And, um, right. yeah, it explodes every day. Very fun. Great views. Nah, it's, it does, I've it does. It does explode Kagoshima. every day. It's, uh, it does, actually? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you're at a safe distance, distance, you're like, kilometers away, so that's fine. Yeah, it's like two kilometers so. away. But people live on mm -hmm. the volcano. They live life on the edge, literally. That's cool. That's cool. What's that drink that you're holding? So I don't that's know what that na drink namata, is. which is a green tea. The best green mm -hmm. tea, actually, if you ever go to Japan. Yeah. Um, is, it, is it from a convenience? Can you get it from a convenience store? Yeah, it's from a convenience store. Um, uh, it's probably about 120 yen. I don't know what that is in Australian dollars. Benchmark, I think $1.80 or $2. But I see, that's cool. Very cheap. That's awesome. awesome. I love, I love your, your smile, smile, by, by the way. way. Stop it. And with the, with the third photo that really I thought was a sponsored ad on my Instagram post or on my Instagram feed, I just want to know oh where is this taking place? This was amazing. Oh, Please let me know. So, uh, this was like quite a few years ago, actually. This was. Oh, I actually was. Yeah, I was. I'm always honest. I never lie. I don't know why I was even afraid. Yeah, this was in 2017. <laughs> 
and I was working for a model company in Fort Bar. And I went for an audition to be an actor in this uh, like documentary kind of, but like we're the actors for the documentary, like the reenactment right. stuff. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And it was about the media industry, and I was playing a Scottish uh, like lecturer, engineer, <laughs> and it was cool. So I stole, <laughs> I stole the video <laughs> and made stills <laughs> of it for the future. Yeah, yeah. They're very photogenic, I have to say. The, the, the grayscale really fits oh, the, the scene. It's very film noirish. It's like you're, you're plotting your, what is it, your evil plan to just take over take another over company. company. That's, how, yeah, that's, 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 that's what it, what it gives, gives me that, that kind of message. message. And they made me and shave my beard off and they glued that to my face. Wait, they, they that, that's not, but I, I had a feeling that was uh, fake, right? The, the, yeah, it's the fake. fake. Yeah, yeah. 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 But they shaved your beard off? Like, your smaller beard? They, they shaved, shaved it off? off? Yeah, they made me like, uh, just shave it off. With, yeah, with your consent, of course. Of course like, I, 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 I mean, I would have said no, but it was very like, please shave it. <laughs> I was like, alright, the life of acting for you. Oh, you're hitting me with all these hard questions. It's great. Like, I, I love the, I love the drama. I hope it's okay, <laughs> of all these questions. If you don't want to. Can I have the question again? I forgot. Oh, sure. Do you have a decision? Do you want to stay in Japan and pursue life in Japan? Or do you want to go back to the UK? You can be like 60, 40. Mm. I just want to know where you're at in terms of your decision. Yeah, I think at the moment, it is, it's 60, 40. 60, I want to stay in Japan, 40 in England. But the, the point of that is that it used to be like 80 20 and wow, recently it's really shifted so mm -hmm. in another year yeah like maybe i want to move back to the uk but i don't know mm -hmm. regardless of your decision you are an amazing human being thank you so much no, for joining into this podcast thank you for inviting me <laughs> no it's all right <laughs> maybe really there may be a part two let's see if the viewers want another part two but to pilot off this episode and to finally finish off this episode, give me your last remarks. Give me your last remarks. If you had a microphone that reached, reached every, every single, single person's person. ear all over the world, is there a sentence or a phrase that you'd say to make someone's life better? What would it be? Mm. <laughs> wow, that's really deep. If everyone could understand what I was saying, you don't have to do it alone. Just find find your group. Everyone, you don't have to be alone. You'll always have that one group or that one community that you could always be a part of. Makaze, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. If it's okay with you, I'd like you to say your name. I'm Makaze and sign it off with Happy Theorize. Hi, I'm Makaze and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, happy theorizing.